Hey, Bryn here from Grey House Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to cut a large bathroom mirror. We're going to take this mirror that spanned our whole vanity and recycle it by cutting it into two separate narrow mirrors. Then we'll take the mirror, frame it, and hang it back over each sink. We found this is a great solution because it is already the height we need and from experience know that it's hard to find cheap tall mirrors. And of course, it saves money because we are using what we already have rather than buying two new mirrors. The first thing that I'm going to do is mark the width I want the mirror to be. This one's going to be 21 inches wide. And I'm going to use a Sharpie to make the mark. Some people would say to use a wax marker or crayon to mark with, but the Sharpie works fine and it's easy to wipe off. This board I'll use for the straight edge so that when I drag the cutter to score the glass, it won't move and I can clamp it down. I'll use this all-purpose oil and a glass cutter. The oil will sit on the glass and keep the cutter cool as it scores the glass. After you squirt a few drops of oil on the glass, you can kind of rub it over to where it's going to go. And then you just simply take the blade. You have to cut with a firm amount of pressure, but you have to do it all in one take. If you stop and start over, then you'll end up with two scores and the glass won't break correctly. Once you get it scored all the way, you can unclamp the board and you're going to use the little metal part on the back of the cutter, this part right here. You just lift up the mirror and tap on the back side of it. Be careful handling the mirror once you get it cut. This top edge is going to be pretty sharp. You can use some fine grit sandpaper to smooth it down, making it a lot safer to handle when you're framing it. That's how we cut a mirror. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.